everyone, this is Anna and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see by the title of this video, I'm going to be doing this makeup look for uh, those of you guys who are going back to school, whether it be, you know, middle school, high school, um, or even college. But, you know, this is just my routine whenever I'm going to uh, be getting ready for school. This is exactly what I do. Not necessarily the eye look. Today I ventured out into pink looks, but you can totally do this with any color eyeshadow that you want. Uh, maybe a warm neutral color. Uh, but this is just what I came up with. So before we get on to the video, don't forget to like this video, comment on it, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Come on, please. We're almost at 200 subscribers, so don't be a hater. Just click that button down below. And yeah, let's just get right into the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right in. I already moisturized my face um, with the, uh, I have it right here, with my coconut water. I did a haul um, and I talked about this, so go check that video out if you haven't already. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and start with my eyebrows, I like to use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. This is in the shade Espresso. It's a little bit dark for me, but I just use a light hand. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill them in just a tiny bit. I'm using the e.l.f. Eyebrow Kit. This is the darkest shade. Uh, it comes with a little pomade and a powder. I like the pomade. But I'm not going to use that for today. I'm just going to go ahead and use the powder and just slightly fill them in. And now to carve out my eyebrows, I'm simply just using this Fit Me Concealer in the shade uh, 25 Medium. I don't have a carving eyebrow brush. So I'm going to use a Morphe one. This is the M559. Now that I'm using this concealer, I'm just going to go ahead and lightly conceal all these freaking acne spots right here that I have. I went off keto for a little bit, had a lot of sugar, and that's what sparked these. So this is a little Real Techniques sponge. I bought um, like a whole pack and it came with the original one, two of these, and then like a little weirdly shaped hourglass one. don't really use that one, but um, I really like these little ones. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and move on to complexion and for this this is the maybelline fit me foundation in the shade 128 warm nude okay i'm just putting on a little tiny bit and using the real Techniques sponge just going in i find that using a sponge like this works a lot faster than buffing in foundation with a brush and I feel like it also leaves just like a more natural finish so that's why I really like this um, for my concealer I'm not using the fit me concealer I'm just gonna use the Maybelline age rewind the dark circle eraser this is in the shade neutralizer um, I like it because it's a little bit more natural looking so I just apply this on my under eyes and a little bit where I had those um, those pimples. Uh, to set everything, I like the CoverGirl um, Clean Pressed Powder and tapping in to where I applied the uh, the concealer. And then so for my eyes today I am using this little guy. This is the Essence Cosmetics Fairy Wings and Magical Things eyeshadow palette. It's so freaking cute. 
Let me show you guys how cute is that. I actually really love it. The only um, thing that I wish was different, I wish that there was more um, matte shades or more maybe warmer tones. But um, I guess it makes sense because the theme is all about fairies and all these colors are, you know, a lot more florally spring-like colors so it makes sense um but again i wish that there was a little bit more matte shadows because there is actually only one the first crease shade i'm gonna go ahead and use that light pink one this is the ferion shade okay so for my lid shade i I think I'm going to go ahead and go into Dragonflies and a little bit of Pixie Dust. They're both nice pink shades, but they're a little bit lighter. So I'm going to go ahead and do some mascara. For that, I'm using the Great Lush by Maybelline cute little just a nice little OG mascara I haven't used it in forever I just like that it's so dark so I'm just going back in with a little bit of the pink underneath my eyes just to make everything a little bit more you know opened for my bronzer, I am using the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder uh, in the shade Sunny. This one's a classic. If and for blush, uh, today I am using this e.l.f. blush. I've had this for so freaking long. Uh, it, I don't even have a name for it, but it's just like a really nice, cool uh very deep bronze uh not bronzer uh blush but a little bit goes a long way so just be careful um a highlight i've been loving is by went wild this is the mega glow highlighting powder this is the precious petal one it's so freaking bomb Um, my last step is just do some sort of lip product. Um, the only reason why I do this is because every time I put on foundation and everything, my lips kind of disappear. So I would usually just go ahead and use a, um, a lip pencil to just slightly line my lips. Just barely so you can kind of see the shape of them again. And last step is to go ahead and set it. For this, I'm using the NYX Dewy Finish Skin Mist. Um, you could go ahead and use the matte one. I just like this one because it makes me look glowy. But obviously, if you're going to be, you know, out and about at school all day, you're probably going to want to use the matte one just to stay more matte all day.